Early detection of breast cancer saves lives, but COVID-19 drastically changed our lives, so exams for many women were postponed or skipped altogether. And they're not alone. A recent survey found that 27% of women plan to either skip or delay their mammograms this year, but doctors are stressing, get that annual exam, it should be a priority. Joining us now to talk more about this is Grammy Award winning artist, breast cancer survivor, Cheryl Crow of Kennett, Missouri, and former teacher in the Rockwood School District. Always great to see Cheryl talking to a St. Louis crowd. And Dr. DeCarla Albright to talk about why women should prioritize scheduling their mammograms. Cheryl, thanks so much for being with us. As a breast cancer survivor, can you tell us a little bit about your experience, how you're doing, and, and why you're so passionate about women taking care of their breast health? Well, um, I'm doing great. Um, I think I'm like all you moms out there. I'm trying to keep my kids busy in the middle of a pandemic, and I'm wearing my mask and staying six feet apart and making sure that we're not uh, getting exposed to COVID. And in the same craziness, trying to keep things as normal as possible. So um, yes, I was diagnosed in 2006 with early stage breast cancer. And until we have a cure, which we still don't, we've made great strides, but we don't have a cure uh, until that time. Early detection is our greatest weapon. And even though we're in the middle of a pandemic, we're encouraging women over the age of 40 to continue to be diligent about getting your mammograms. Um, obviously, you can't take care of the people that you love who are around you uh, unless you take care of your health first. So as we come up to October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we've set up a website called backtoscreening.com. And you can go on, follow the cues, set up a reminder for yourself to get your mammogram and perhaps be one of 10 lucky winners to a private Cheryl Crow virtual concert. Oh, that's a little incentive eh? to attend a private virtual performance by you, Cheryl Crow. That's exciting. It's bribery. Bribery <laughs> at its best. Bribery. No, nothing wrong with that. All right. Dr. Albright, why is it so important, um, especially during the pandemic, for women to keep the schedule of mammograms? It's important because we know that we're going to miss about 10,000 breast and colon cancers due to lack of uh, appropriate screening. And we also know, as Cheryl is an example, that early detection does actually save lives. So we want to make sure that if a patient was canceled due to the pandemic or has just missed it or is scared, that they should go ahead and reschedule that now. They can call their radiology center and, and find out um, that they're going to be practicing according to CDC guidelines, wearing masks, social distancing in the waiting rooms, and spreading out appointments so patients don't really have to cross paths. It's really um, safe to enter the health system uh, with the way that we're designing things to do so and get updated on your screening. And Dr. Albright, as an OBGYN, have you seen or heard from patients as to why they're delaying their, uh, their, their screenings? Yes, pa patients are just worried about, you know, accessing the health system. You know, they're worried that that's the source of the infection, um, but we're actually the place that we are caring for the people. But we're also using the appropriate PPE to make sure that um, people are safe when we're caring for them. So I, I encourage that for people to come back to my office for care, and I'm also encouraging that for screening. My mammo was canceled in, in May and I had it done in July and the radiology center did all of those things that I described and I felt quite safe doing so. Mm -hmm. All right, Cheryl, the website is backtoscreening.com and is that where uh, our viewers can go for a chance to see your virtual concert? That's right, go to backtoscreening.com and just follow the cues and while you're setting up a reminder to get your yearly mammogram, you may be lucky and be chosen to be one of 10 winners. That's exciting. When is the virtual concert? It'll be October 2nd. During uh, Breast Cancer Month? Yes, that's right. Okay. We'd much rather be there playing for you guys in person. 
Oh, but that's, that's going to be great. They'll get a kick out of that. That'll be thrilling for them, I'm sure. All right, Cheryl Crow, Dr. Albright, thank you very much for being with us. Uh, and thank you for your information. It's important information. We're glad to help you get it out. And have a great day.